over to you, Carden. Right, the next one is, I see here we have a pie chart. It says public sector budget, big spending. Okay, so we, so this is G. There was a time when we had T. So this is now G, uh, showing where the money is going. This whole time we're mostly seeing where the money is coming from. Right, which government department received the highest allocation? Uh, this is a free mark. That would be education. When does the finan financial year of the government begin? That is the 1st of April. I've been saying this over and over again. Name any two items in the pie chart above that are related to social spending. Almost everything here except for infrastructure. Why do you think the government should spend more on infrastructure development? Uh, one of the reasons, I don't know if it's there, but one of the reasons would be, uh, you know, this thing here, infrastructure development, it will lead to the multiplier one way or the other. Uh, if government injects money in building whatever, it's going to create employment. And uh, you see that industry is labor intensive. So it doesn't really require, you know, uh, a lot of qualifications for some. Of course, there will be engineers there. Yes, yes. But the the most people that will be working on those projects, are, it's, you know, they just need to be strong or they just need to be able to dig or, in you know, some in some cases carry things. So it will really and uh, you know create employment to the poor and to those who are not educated let me say right to promote industrial development to promote economic growth to reduce unemployment and improve the standards of living to reduce poverty why does the government allocate 60 percent of the entire budget to social spending, to improve the quality of life of all citizens, to promote the literacy and numeracy rates, to provide shelter to the uh, unfortunate. Right, this brings us to the end of the topic, public sector. It's been a, a very, very long one. I, I wasn't even expecting it to be this long, but yes, um, I hope you will, you know, you benefited. I hope you will use this to pass your metric. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, complete and no answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.